Hello and welcome to The Primary Storyline, a video series about post-production as it relates to Final Cut Pro X, Motion, and Compressor. My name is Andrew Gormley and I will be your host. In this quick episode, I'd like to give you just a few tips about speeding up your export workflow. One of the coolest underused features in Final Cut Pro X is the ability to bundle export your project when you're ready to wrap it up. It's a really cool way to get all of the files you need with just a few clicks. So to do this, you can open up your preferences from either the menu bar or in this case by pressing command comma and then going to the destinations tab right here. At the bottom, you're gonna click on add destination and then drag bundle from the right hand side over into the left hand column. You can give it a name if you want by double clicking and just typing in whatever. And then you can begin to add destinations from here into your bundle. So you can save a current frame, you can export the file, and then maybe you would want to put it on Facebook, something like that. I'll show you the actual bundle I use for when I export my footage. It's right here, it's called Final Export. So my first file right here, if you click on it, is a ProRes HQ master file that I use basically for archiving. The second one I set up is a local H.264 file at full resolution. These files I'll usually pop onto either my phone or iPad to take with me on the road or when I'm visiting with clients. Finally, I upload it to both Vimeo and YouTube at the highest quality to pass. I also have them hidden by default so they're not accessible until I say so. So in this case, in Vimeo, you can set it to only me, and then in YouTube, you could set it to unlisted. And then at a later time when you log in, you can fix all of that and make it as public or as private as you need it to be. Again, this is a super powerful way to always ensure that you have the right files at the right time. You set this up one time, then you can forget about it. Once you're ready and your project's done, you simply go over here, you click on the bundle that you've set up, and then on this window, you can use these arrows to navigate between each of them. So here's my ProRes master, here's my local H.264 file, here's the Vimeo upload, here's the YouTube upload. It's that easy. Thank you for watching. If you found it useful, please give it a good rating on iTunes as it will help others find it as well. And if you have any questions or something you'd like to see covered, you can reach out via my website at andrewgormley.com or on Twitter at darkdriving. I'll see you all in the next episode of The Primary Storyline.